our outlier Fairfield at 13 degrees right now. So very cool across the area, but it even feels colder than that with most of our areas looking at wind chill values in the single digits. Our outlier at Atumwa up at 10 degrees for the field temperature. Elsewhere, 7 degrees. The field in Kirksville and Edina, 8 degrees feeling like it is in Bloomfield. So make sure you have that heavy winter jacket, your gloves, your scarves, and if you have that automatic start in your car, try to start warming it up prior to you getting outside. It is a very, very cold day right now, but we are looking at another clipper system pulling on through the area. We've been talking about that throughout the week. These clipper systems, while bringing with it a little bit of some moisture, mainly is attributed to cold blast of Arctic air. So we saw one moving through as we went in towards Thursday with temperatures falling down in towards the upper 20s as high as yesterday. We have another one that will pull through the area later on this afternoon into the evening pushing temperatures down heading into Saturday, but also bringing with it a chance for some flurries over the course of tonight into tomorrow. So let's go ahead and take a look at our future track and we will see temperatures hovering around the lower 20s by 7 a.m. As the kids are getting on the bus, they are going to be uh, dealing with some chilly conditions. As for noon in towards the up mid and upper 30s for some of us, we are looking at temperatures squeaking up a few more degrees as we head in towards the later afternoon hours, just about 38 degrees looking to be the high temperature spread out across the area. But watch as we see this cloud cover starting to build in. That's going to be the leading edge of moisture. That will be the indication for potential snow flurries later on in towards the evening hour. So just about 10 p.m. is when we're going to start to track on that that next round of snow flurries descending from our north just coming from Davenport and Burlington. And as it does, we will see some development now occurring in our middle portions of the area, but a lot of this is going to be focused on the Mississippi River and right along our easternmost portion. So as it descends down towards the area, we are going to see it cycling off towards the southeast. A few pockets still straggling, passing through Bloomfield, Lancaster into Kirksville by 3 a.m. on Saturday. But overall, that's going to move off towards our southeast as we're waking up Saturday morning to Chilly temperatures once again in towards the lower and mid 20s and the worst part is they're not going to go up by more than maybe five or so degrees as we get in towards the later afternoon hours for Saturday. Temperatures very, very similar to what we just saw yesterday in towards the upper 20s, barely creeping up towards the freezing line of 32 degrees around Macon. Heading in towards Saturday night, temperatures quickly fall right back down in towards the lower 20s. What can we expect in terms of snowfall amounts? Well, we see just about a tenth of an inch at most around our area, but this is really going to be up and down accumulation numbers. A lot of this is just going to be indications from this one model, but we are expecting maybe a few light dustings, a lot like what we saw on Wednesday with that kind of snowfall. But overall for our area, we're not going to be concerned with too much of a measurable amount. Heading into the weekend, though, well below average temperatures could be spreading our way, especially on Saturday. And as for your extended forecast, warming up Sunday and Monday. Now stick with us. Tech Bites is coming up next.